And hello, survivors. It's your host, Get Good Fox, and you know what time it is. Lethal Zone in uh, the Providence Ridge. Lethal Zone in Providence. Oh, no! Get this car, though. Okay, that that's the plan. It's le The plan is Lethal Zone in Providence Ridge. Final answer. 100% certain, need to transfer this rucksack over here. And if you're guessing that the reason I'm outfitted like this is because we're going to explodinate some plague hearts, then you would be absolutely correct, because that's exactly what I plan to do. There are three remaining, and maybe we have enough time to destroy all three of them. Maybe we don't. I have no idea. But we will destroy what I can. I think, I think we will have enough time. Overall, I'm really happy with how this character turned out. Like, I think this character is very effective at her job, which is to destroy the play guards with all of the bonuses and all the skills we've chosen. She's she's just really good. It, it works out. Pro oh, okay, I guess I'm going the wrong way. But you know, oh, looks I guess I can't. And that's what I get for driving in the complete wrong or not paying attention. That's what I get for not paying attention and just flapping my big fat mouth instead of looking in the correct direction. A common problem that Fox has, too much talking, not enough paying attention, hence why I just crashed into that as well. It's all good though. In time, we always get where we need to go. That's just the way it works. You know, Fox might be a little silly. He might be a little forgetful. He might forget what he's doing. He might completely misplace episodes from time to time. He might even fall asleep in the middle of his gameplay, but he always gets where he needs to go eventually, sooner or later. Now, this series that we're working on, it, it is admittedly wrapping up. We are pretty close to finishing everything. Uh, once we destroy all these play guards, all we're going to have to do is set up all of the the outposts. And once we set up the outposts, well, we'll just have to complete the final legacy. And I might do them kind of together as well. Have you met your other neighbors yet? They seem friendly enough, I suppose. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Will one of so you nice come with me? You. you got something for me? Sure, sounds good. Hello yeah. There. What? What are you? No skill. Congrats. You're still alive. Muse. Congrats. You're still alive. I have found my volunteer. I certainly hope that uh, you can write a song about how amazing it will be for you to survive all three encounters with these play guards and that you're going to you know, absolutely have no trouble at all with it. You're going to do a most admirable job of distracting the zombies, holding their attention, and surviving to write a song about that. Like I, I am absolutely convinced of it. And if you're not, then it's false advertising. You know what happens to false advertising, to people who want to join the, the Fox Republic. If they, if they engage in false advertising while trying to petition to live in the false Fox Republic, then like, oh my God, that's like, that, that would be awful. I can't, I can't, I couldn't, I, who knows what would happen. Like, you might suddenly get extremely deep, bloody red colored skin and start wandering around, you know. Not, I'm not saying that it would be a problem, like it, it, like it would be bad for your health, but certainly it would be unpleasant if all of a sudden you just had like deep, bloody red skin and red eyes and just started kind of like wandering around and doing things you didn't typically do. But like, it, the, I'm sure it will not be a problem. We're, it's gonna be, we're gonna, we got, we got this under control. In fact, I'm just gonna run in here and just show everyone how much of this is going to be under control, because none, none of you are going to scream. Uh, you guys are definitely, there's way too many of them. Someone's going to scream. Well, we got through a lot of them. None of them have screamed yet. Oh, we, we, we're we going to get every single one of them without them screaming. Wow! See that? We got this. It's not even a thing. Kind of wish the play guard wasn't right here, but... Um, the game often doesn't care what I want. One. Two. Three. Four. Detonate. And that's all she wrote. 
And that's how I run into this vehicle and evacuate. Not a problem for you, though, is it? You've got this under control, don't you? I know you did not get into the vehicle, but that's because you got this under control, right? Not a big deal, right? It's all good. Right? So what we're going to do is allow the game to uh, let her disentangle herself from the play of those enemies, which is why she's actually on the move right now. Remember that once you drive far enough away from the enemies, they stop simulating combat. And that's why she's able to travel. So now we need to go pick her up. I don't know why you are going in that particular direction through here, though. I guess you're... I guess you assumed that this was the fastest way from point A to point B. Not true. Very much not the fastest route. Okay, she's right over here. Not even clutching your side. Would you, would you get in? You want to get in? Want to get in? Apparently not. Okay. You don't need to get in. You don't want to get in? You don't need to get in. That's, that's fine. What we can do is drive a little further away until she starts deciding to approach me again. I think her brain might be like loading, please wait. Okay, there we go, she's moving again. Well, we got this. You know, you know the AI, the, the AI, you know, sometimes a little slow on the uptake. Come on, get in, get in. There we go. Sometimes the AI just needs a little bit of help. So far, so good. There's only two left. You got this. Like, well, you'll write an amazing song about it. It's going to be great. It's going to be like the best song ever. Like in that SpongeBob episode. Best song ever. It's, it's going to be exactly like that. Okay, we're in the plague territory. Can't actually remember what episode that was. I just remember that song. Probably because SpongeBob songs have a. They just have a way of burrowing into your brain. Okay. Oh, no. You think we can pick up the pace? Get back in, thank you. Okay, our goal now is to commence the plague heart level, Wishima Googling. Let me see if I can get these bad guys to spawn in by driving really close to the building. I think we did. We might, okay, yep, I see them popping in. That is courtesy of um, scouting. What are you doing? Come back here. I'm not going to have you ruin everything. I can have you ruin some of the things, but you can't ruin everything. This is a kind of a curiously located play guard. That's, that's fine, though. I think it's fine. Pretty sure I could just shoot through the wall. Oh, immediately tackled. I cannot... Ha-ha! Still got him anyways. Let me get some of this going. And you're, you're not going to... Okay, good. The zombie has jumped onto it. And if the zombie jumps onto it, that means the pharaoh cannot claim my... Can't claim the door frame. That's good. I'm going to head off over here, though. That's exactly what we're going to do, right? You know, you're going to catch up, and you're going to be here for the final play guard, aren't you, right? Right? Right, right, yeah, yeah, there we go. There we go, get in. 
See, we got this. It's all good. Oh, I needed that door, though. I kind of wanted the door. Like, I lose more doors that way, but, you know, well, you know, whatever. I think we got this still. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to be pessimistic about it. In fact, I'm just going to repair. You won't, you won't do it, Feral. He, he might do it, actually. Here, get in the car. We need to um, squish him a Google some of these guys. You really want to get in that car. Getting in that car would be a great idea. Okay, I was not actually trying to squish him a Google him, but... It just kind of happened that way. There are a ton of plague zombies here. I just want to point that out. I, I guess it's almost like they're like, No! This is our last plague guard. You can't just, like, destroy the plague guard and, and just clear the blood plague. I mean, it doesn't really clear the blood plague. You still have plenty of blood plague zombies in the area, but that's besides the point. This guy is minding his own business. What, do you think you can just mind your own business in this game? None of you ever just mind your own business with me. Like, I'm always being interfered with, so you don't just get to sit there and mind your own business. That's just not how it works. Like, live and let live? No, that's just not how State of Decay 2 works. Like, peace was never an option. It's like they just keep spawning in. Like, they, see, these guys clearly weren't here earlier. They're just spawning in because they're just like, ha, 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 this is lethal zone. That's exactly why they spawn in. It's, it's in the game. The game is like, ha, 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 this is lethal zone. We're just going to spawn in because we feel like it. And a juggernaut, too. Why not? It's the final play guard, after all. They're just like... Why not just bring it all in here? Okay, I think we can actually... Let's see if we can actually do... Don't let them scream. All we gotta do is squish these guys. And I think we got even more respawns inside of the building. Jeez. No, you don't. And the zombie screamed, why not? Why not? I gotta catch my breath. Oh my god! Thank you. Gosh. Oh, I should probably get a few more tools of the trade. I probably should refuel while I'm here too. I don't see the harm in that. Okay, let's try this again. Well, not again. Let's try it for the first time. Objective, squish him a Google Plague Art. It's always in the office here. I don't know why. The, the Plague Art was like the former manager. He's the current manager, actually. You want to talk to the manager? Well, you're talking to this thing right here. Ha ho! Oh, wait, it didn't die. I must now burn him a Google it. Yay! Did we get the blood plague? We sure did. Time to. Time to leave. If you're not. If you are currently not leaving then that is a bad idea. Then you are currently... You are currently doing a bad idea. You want to be leaving right now. If you are leaving right now, then you are currently doing a good idea. But if you're currently not leaving, then I'm afraid you are doing a bad idea. I think she's gonna make it! Wow! Wow! 
I mean, I guess, like, you know, pretty clean time, actually. Three play guards, you know, used up basically um, one stack of bullets. And, you know, because, like, the, the Raiders had 50 rounds in it. So about one stack of bullets. You know what? Maybe I should destroy this wall, Amir. Hmm? Think I should destroy this wall, Amir? Think I'll destroy this wall, Amir. I mean, we're passing by it, so why not? Are they inside the building? It sure looks like they're inside the building. Huh. Come on out of the building. I'm just trying to, like, murder you. That's it. It's nothing personal. I just need all of you dead. It's not a big deal. You understand, right? You know, sometimes I just need everybody dead. Okay. Look at all this nothing. Catch! Glorious victory! We are cleared. Oh, is oh look who look who has caught up. Don't remember your name, but you are gonna write that song, aren't you? Okay, looks like you're a little confused. It's fine. Now, you you don't have to get in here if you oh oh okay. We all get to go home. Of course we do. Like there was uh, no doubt no doubt about it. Anyone who had doubts about it, you're just being a pessimist. You're not looking at things on the bright side. You're just being pessimistic. Everything was... It was all in the bag. It was all A-O good. Now we can just go back to our base. And then I can decide um, who we're going to beat the game with. And, you know, do some of the kind of like end of game mop up stuff. Because let me tell you, there's definitely some end of game stuff to mop up. And I'm going to probably call for a fuel trader. Nope, never mind. I lied. I am just a no good, rotten liar. I am not going to call in a fuel trader. I did not realize that they have about 17 hours left before I can call a new one in. So we're just going to go home. What we're going to be doing in the meantime, though, is we are going to have to rearrange our outposts. And we are going to have to upgrade our outpost, but first we're going to rearrange them to find out where I want the outpost to actually be. That is going to be step one. What did you drop? You bought one bottle of painkillers and two bottles or two snacks. That I would not call decent. I would call that garbo. That's garbage. If you brought absolutely nothing back, that would be basically the same as what you brought back. Okay. By a screamer. And we're home. With our ally, I was about to say miraculously in one piece, but that's being pessimistic. She had this. It was it was in the as I said, it was in the bag. There was no doubt in my mind that she was gonna do this. Just like there's no bit doubt in my mind that I'm gonna whoosh him a Google this guy. Yeah, let's return to the base. We are the conquering heroes, after all. Uh, do I have anything to sell? I sure do. Now that you have uh, managed to survive all three of the play guards, certainly you want to buy all of this random stuff. You should probably not stand outside the base, though. I'm just saying. Hey there, business partner. Sure. I'm uh, just saying. Hey, you're not dead. Have you met the new folks in town? They seem pretty friendly. I have a feeling that is the beginning of the cannibals. I think that is the case. Don't know for sure. I'll sell one hiking backpack. I'll sell this one of those. That's down. that mod we found that was worthwhile to sell. Um, we don't need whistling box mines. Um, I don't need those. I don't need much of any of these, really, but I'm not going to sell all those yet. I'll sell all of these because they're just cosmetic. And I'm going to need the influence anyways because if we shuffle up our... Hey. Hey there, business partner. Might as well. Our outposts. Also, upgrading the outposts would be very expensive. 
And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab some parts and just take the rest of her money because we can sell the parts one at a time. Grats, you're still alive. Just like this. And all of her money is officially mine. I have left her with not even a single point of influence to her name, which is exactly how I like it. The money is all mine. And none of it is hers. Now we can do is repair. Let's make this mag count, kiddos. I said, um, repair. Repair. Okay, I forgot this thing needs a little more ammo. That's good. Uh, you've earned the rest, though. Time for you to go. And I'm gonna play someone else. First, we're gonna find out. You are the builder. That means we don't need to change leaders because the builder is the character I'd want to finish up with. We're gonna go ahead and uh, level up some of our other characters, though. Namely, you, Stone. Hassan Johnston, aka Stone. What, what resource? Materials. Interesting. Do we need to level anyone else up? No, everyone is maxed out. That's good. Um, oh, we don't have the... Well, you know, the board games are now going to be useful. I'm getting some of my other playthroughs confused. Don't need anything there. Uh, nothing there. Everything's good there. Why does this have a... It's just telling us that we can change the strategy. How much morale are we getting? I, that's one thing I would like to know. Let's find out how much morale the... Where is it? New Hope Church. 10 morale. Okay. And then we're also getting the Defeat of the Blood Plague bonus. 10 morale for everyone who is present. So it's pretty good. So it's actually not, I don't think it's showing us the morale. Oh no, it is right. Is that it right there? Schedule the break? Um, I don't even know. Schedule a nap time? One labor, more beds? I mean, sure. All this noise is going to attract oh, 45 minutes, that's pretty good. Scheduling a nap time, a uh, 45 minute bonus? That's pretty good, let's do that one. Okay, that's actually not terrible. And then we'll also gain one bed, which is another seven morale. I mean, I'm not saying that's like mind blowing, but that's not bad. I can work with that. I told we get more storage in this place. We're gonna keep losing shit like this. It's just building materials. Like we're getting building materials hand over fist. It's it's really not a big deal. Okay, next thing I want to do is probably go to the welcoming wagon because, I don't know, something to do. I'm pretty sure that is, as I said, I'm, I'm fairly confident that those are the... The, oh, I can't even think of it now. Um, oh, the brain fart is real. Anything to sell? I don't think we have anything to sell, at least not at the moment. Yeah, we can sell these. We need more influence. Also, as before we leave, we should probably see if there's anything I need to do. Let me go ahead and equip Zed Buster with some stuff. Might as well repair as well, because I, I'm willing to bet that the Zed Buster could use a little bit of a touch-up. Okay, let's add another one in. Okay, so let's see here. We need... We're okay on food. We need medicine. So we're going to need multiple med outposts. That's the big thing we need. What am I losing? Oh, okay, from the... Um, that, that can stay, actually. Not so we don't... Way. This doesn't need it anymore. Abandon this outpost. Um, we're not going to need this many food outposts. So let's see. We need medicine. Medicine is kind of important because there's not as many med outposts. So I feel like we should probably take this one as a med outpost. And that could be a med outpost. And we could swap that one out for the food. Let's just see, like, where are the other medicine outposts located? There's one here, but this is where our base is, so we don't... And also the, the landmark is there, so that's not that important. Um, there is... 
a med outpost here. It's a little out of the way, though. I want something a little more in the middle. I kind of like the fruit stand. The fruit stand is also already leveled up. So I think right there is a pretty good one. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So step one is we're going to turn this into a medicine outpost. At least it seems like a good idea. If it's a terrible idea, I don't know. I'll shift the blame to somebody else. Because it's like, you know, there's no way it's El Presidente Fox's fault. It's, good, it's definitely going to be someone else's fault. Perks of being, like, you know, democratically dic elected dictator for life is I can just shift the blame to someone else. It's good to be king, I guess one could say. All right, so... We'll need this... Uh, we're also gonna, we're definitely gonna need to make more money because we're not gonna have the influence to level everything up to the max. And we also aren't gonna need this many food outposts either. So we'll probably be able to shut one of the food outposts down. Fuck yeah. Wow, an advanced break? That's actually, now that is actually good. You wouldn't believe the weapon that I found behind. That's, now that is actually a good one and that's because our morale is so high. The higher your morale, the better the stuff they will find, and an advanced break, that's pretty good. Some people are unsure of the tiers. Uh, they, they're not, they're unsure if, is it professional the best tier, or advanced the best tier? Um, and for attachments, advanced is better than professional. Advanced is the best tier, with the exception of maybe a, a you know, a very unique, specific kind of one, like uh, perhaps the Clio Accelerator, for example, it might be better than an advanced break. I'm not sure. I haven't really messed with them since they adjusted them. Don't scream! Nice. Hmm. Wow. Nice. Give me this. Hey y'all, the outpost is done. That said, I can see how we might improve if we want. I mean, we do want to do that. There's no doubt about that. Okay, let me re-equip this. And okay, so we have so the the current the current positioning of the outpost is not honestly that bad. Uh, but we're going to need more than that. Um, I'm going to need two medicine outposts really to counteract everything. So that means I'm going to probably remove this one. That is outpost number four. So you can get removed. But first we'll go ahead and find out who these guys are. Like I said, I'm pretty sure they are the cannibals. Or at least I feel fairly confident that they're the cannibals, but... I can't be 100% sure. Because I, I don't get the Canic Bulls that frequently. We'll, we'll find out in a moment, though. And they're in this little weird little pocket area as well. I don't drive to that area too often. This little side area right here. Easy to forget about it. So I, uh, if you're wondering, we did have another big time uh, Stave Decay stream. I was actually working on building my hyper community. And I, got, I showed people some of the techniques for it. Uh, if you don't know, like, yeah, I am on Twitch, and I am streaming State of Decay content. Not just Daybreak. I, some people know I do stream Daybreak there. But if you want more State of Decay content, like, that is where it's happening. Looks like he's Scream. Let's get in here. And, yeah, there is going to be a whole season exclusive to Twitch. There's going to be a Twitch season. There will still be more YouTube seasons as well. They will run concurrently, like the Twitch and YouTube seasons will go together. And I have been playing them at about 3 p.m. Eastern time. That's been kind of the common time for me to do it. The good timers. Yeah, that's very cannibal sounding to me. I need a break. No, you don't. You need to talk to these fools right here. Hello. We just moved in from another... See ya. Let's talk to these guys. Maybe we can get a hint. All right. Can we work a trade? What yeah. are you selling? A sack of mystery meat? Bag of meat snacks? Yeah, yeah, this is definitely uh, most mysterious. It's uh, These are definitely ye old cannibal guys. They also sound different too. Listen to their voice. Hey. Bye now. Hello there. Goodbye. 
I'd like to trade. If you what, are, what are your skills? Sure. Okay, you don't have a skill? Hey. Metal work. Interesting. What do you say when I trade with you? How about you let me catch up? So, what have you got to trade? Yeah. Yeah, see, they have unique voice lines. That is interesting. Hey. Uh, we just moved in from another town. You must be our new neighbors. I guess so. Welcome hey. to the neighborhood. Oh! There sure are lots of nice-looking folks in this town. I think we'll do just fine here. There we go. We've got inspiring Take speeches. Care. And you have cooking. So they got cooking, metalworking, and uh, no skill. Hey You're free to come in and look around. Huh? All right, aren't I now? Well, I'm, I guess that's good news then, because we are done with today's episode. Like, look at that. The Blood Plague has officially been cleansed. Uh, you know, there's some looting to do. There's going to be some... Um, the looting will help us get money. We need to reposition a few of these. I, I think that's the only one I need to reposition. I think the rest will be good. Uh, we are losing, I think, what, one ammo per day. That's really not a big deal. I probably will not make an effort to counteract the ammo losses just because it's like one ammo a day it, it, it's you could easily just buy the rucksack I, I, you would buy like one rucksack of ammo every six days basically anyways thank you for watching yes like i said there is more state of decay 2 content on twitch i'm also playing dying light 2 i'm also playing valheim so if you're not on twitch then you are not seeing the full extent of the content available to you and also like i could absolutely love i would love to have your support on twitch so that i can grow both on uh youtube and on twitch like yes it every single person does make a difference every single viewer makes a difference because remember social media these kinds of things content it is all 100 percent a numbers game so you are a part of those numbers so i'd absolutely Absolutely love your assistance in the matter. I mean, like I said, you know, you don't have to, no pressure, but it's like, sure, I would love to entertain you on both platforms. Anyways, like the video if it was entertaining, subscribe for future State of K2 content, and of course, remember that you don't have to be good to get good.